demonstration, we're going to show you how to handle situation with long running processes. For example, when we click this button, it's a couple of seconds before we actually get the results out of it, which is this green um, pop up. What we want to show to customers is that once they press the button, we're actually doing something. Um, and so they would know that they don't need to repress it, for example. So to do that, we're going to look up and add a dialogue component to our page over here. We're going to show this dialogue in order to be able to work on it. So we clicked on show and then we're going to give it an ID. So we're going to call this one the wait dialogue uh, dialogue. Then we can change the title of this dialogue, for example, to say something like working on it. And in order to show progress, we can use a component called the progress bar, which can show us an animation of progress being done. We're going to put it over here on the dialogue and resize it. Now we're going to use the value of minus one to do a continuous animation of progress. But if you have multi-step progress, you can actually have this as a variable that you change the value of to show actual progress happening. In our case, we added this one. Now we can actually remove the button if we don't need it like that. And then we can hide the dialog so we'll be able to access our button that sits behind it and look at the action chain that is invoked when we press this button. So in this action chain, we call the REST service. What we're going to do is we're going to add a call component action before invoking the REST. We're going to point to our dialog component and we're going to open it like that. Now, once the REST is done, we want to close the dialog automatically so we can bring in another call component action over here point to the same dialog and this time call the close method. You might want to do the same thing, by the way, on the failure flow from the REST service. Anyway, let's see it in action right now. We press the button and immediately the dialog comes up. We can see that progress is being done using the progress bar. And when it's done, it's closed and we get our confirmation. 